Brain injury charity Headway has called for a UEFA investigation after Newcastle defender Fabian Char played on for Switzerland at the weekend despite having been knocked unconscious. Char was involved in a clash of heads with Georgia's Jemel Tobage in the first half of Switzerland's 2-0 Euro 2020 qualifying win in Tbilisi on Saturday. Char has said he was knocked out for a few seconds and it has been reported that as he lay on the floor George's J. Noan image tried to stop the 27-year-old's tongue from blocking his airway. Newcastle's Fabian Schar was knocked unconscious as Switzerland faced Georgia. Schar received treatment from medics for four minutes but was then able to continue playing. Players from both teams rushed to Shar's attention as he lay motionless on the ground. Shar had around five minutes of treatment from medical staff before completing the duration of the game. A statement from Headway on Monday said, The charity has demanded UEFA launches an investigation into the circumstances that resulted in Swiss player Fabian Shar being cleared to continue playing in a match against Georgia, just minutes after being knocked unconscious and needing emergency help from a member of the opposition. Headway chief executive Peter McCabe added, What is it going to take to make football take concussions seriously? Shar was knocked unconscious after a clash of heads with Georgia's Jemel Tobich. Char was quoted by Swiss newspaper Blick on Saturday as saying after the match, I cannot remember anything. I was knocked out for a few seconds. My skull is still buzzing. I also had neck pain and a bunt on the forehead. But it was worth it. McKay batted, how many more players will have their careers end, more importantly, their lives and long-term health put at risk by the sport's inability to follow its own protocols. Schar was thankfully able to continue as Switzerland commenced their qualifying campaign. Put simply, the decision to allow Fabian Schar to return to the field of play after suffering a clear concussion was not only incredibly dangerous, but also a clear dereliction of duty. The players' comments after the match are also deeply disturbing and again show the lack of awareness and understanding among players. UEFA must immediately launch an investigation into the incident and explain why their protocols were not followed.